Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at the lungs, alveoli and gill. So, in this introductory lesson, we will be looking at gas exchange surfaces. The key parts in this course, or the key parts to do with this, is to look at describing how gas exchange surfaces are adapted. And we look at gas exchange surfaces in fish, insects, and in mammals. So the rest of this presentation, we'll look at a few things that will give you a bit of a head start. So a respiratory exchange surface is covered with a thin, moist epithelial cells that allow oxygen and carbon dioxide to exchange quickly. The key areas that we need to look at are the lungs, the alveoli, and the gills. Most mammals or most mammalian lungs have the same basic structure. So this is where the trachea or the windpipe leads down from the mouth and the nostrils and splits towards the two lungs and finally branches down into alveoli. The process of inhalation is where air is being taken in. So the diaphragm contracts and flattens. The internal intercostal muscles contract and raise the rib cage. So this increases the volume of the thorax, therefore lowering the pressure so air is drawn into the lungs. Conversely, exhalation is how we breathe out. So the diaphragm relaxes and curves back up. The internal intercostal muscles relax, so the rib cage lowers. So this decreases the volume of the lungs, therefore increasing the pressure and forcing the air back out. Gas, though the main gas exchange surface in fish are the gills. So gills have many similar adaptations that most gas exchange surfaces have. So gills have numerous folds in them to increase the surface area. There are many, many rows of them and they've got little protrusions on them called lamellae. So the folds are kept supported and moist by the water, which is continuously pumped over them. So just to go through some of the key facts that you will need to know about gills. So the rows of gill filaments are covered in gill lamellae. Gills have numerous folds to give them a large surface area. The folds are kept supported. Within the gills, there is a good blood supply to maintain a concentration gradient. The gill lamellae are only one cell thick, so there is a short diffusion distance. And the arrangement of the water flowing past the gills is in the opposite direction to the blood, and this is called countercurrent flow. Within alveoli, an exchange of gases takes place, so oxygen is taken into the blood, carbon dioxide is allowed to diffuse back out into the air. So there are a number of adaptations that you need to be aware of. So alveoli have a large combined surface area because there's many, many millions of them. Alveoli are moist because a moist surface enables the oxygen to diffuse into that moisture, which increases its rate of diffusion through the cells into the blood. The alveoli are covered in a network of fine capillaries so this enables a good blood supply which helps maintain that concentration gradient. Alveoli are only one seal cell thin or thick. That means that there is a short diffusion distance. It's important to remember that alveoli are the tiny air sacs at the end of the bronchioles. Because there is a short diffusion distance, that increases the rate of diffusion. Fresh air is being 
constantly breathed into the lungs and air that has had carbon dioxide diffused back into it is being constantly breathed out so this also helps maintain a concentration gradient like we said previously there's a good blood supply so oxygen is taken away quickly carbon dioxide is brought to it therefore maintaining that concentration gradient thanks for watching